the lawn. A residence for less than one half of 1% of fourth years every year. For the UBA student athlete, those figures are even more minuscule. Fourth year women's soccer team member Betsy Brandon, accustomed to competition on the field, needed a little extra nudge to even apply. My mom was like, you should apply. I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I should apply. I feel like there are a lot of really, really great people here and I have no chance. So my mom convinced me to do it. I remember finding out and just was like elated. I was really excited. I was so excited to tell my mom because, you know, I knew she was going to be like, I told you so. For lawn residents, heavy workloads and full schedules are the norm. For Brandon, her first daunting task was fitting everything into her room. I am definitely a hoarder. I would say that I had a huge box for my first year up through now of all of my school stuff. I have a really hard time getting rid of things because I always think, you know, I could use this at some point. It'll be fine, like I'll keep it. It was a um, emotional process to have to get rid of those things. If you look at any crevice in this room, there's something there. There's a chair in this little crevice. Um, there's definitely stuff back there and it was a process for sure. It felt at first like there was no progress being made, so that was a little discouraging, but it definitely took some downsizing. There are many unknowns for the new lawn resident. However, having the experience of previous residents certainly assists in acclimating the Spartan living environment. When I went to the coach's office and told them that I got accepted, they were incredibly excited and Steve on the spot called Kate Norbo. She was so nice and really helpful because I told her I still had to pick a room and whether she had any advice about rooms. Um, so she was really sweet and she talked to me about it. She gave me some advice and in the end she said, it really just matters what you make the most of the experience. And the chance to live on the lawn presented Betsy with an opportunity many of us might not consider. I think most of all, I was just really excited about the opportunity that it provides. One thing I feel like I've struggled with um, being an athlete is getting to meet other people because you have so many things going on. It's hard to really meet um, non-athletes and so this is an incredible opportunity for me to do that and to just meet some really prestigious and wonderful people who have a lot going for them and I'm just really excited. It's a diverse group and I think that's what made me most excited about it all. Brandon fits right into the lawn's diverse and well-rounded community. This summer, in pursuit of her double major in Spanish and speech therapy, she traveled to Spain to participate in the UVA in Valencia program, an immersive cultural and educational experience. As an athlete, it's hard to go for a whole semester. It's virtually impossible. But just the option to go for a month was really, really special. And the way the athletic program supported that um, and supported the other athletes that went too, I think it's a really unique thing. You have the facilities to work out. Um, the administration there was amazing. And then I loved my classes. I would say those are some of my favorite classes I've taken. Actually getting to use Spanish, every day. It's a lot to describe, but I would say that it was just all around a really special experience. Culturally, I formed some really, really great friendships and I'm excited to see people back in university be able to reminisce on all those things. With her feet firmly planted back in the U.S., Brandon says the enormity of living in such a historic and honorable setting hasn't quite set in. I would say that I don't think it will ever really sink in. This is the very first part of the university. This is where the people lived and went to classes. And this was the original university. And Thomas Jefferson designed it. I, I find that amazing. 